we're creating history today. It's 40 years for Fairburn Long-Term Care Home in Huntsville. Residents, volunteers, staff and dignitaries gathering Thursday afternoon to mark the occasion. We're celebrating a 40th anniversary of a, of a community partner that's, uh, that looks after our, some people that are vulnerable, some people that are just, uh, you know, need extra care. Our community is truly blessed to have Fairvern, and Fairvern blessed to have the support and love of this community. Well, you know, I, I, I truly can't believe that it's 40 years since, since Fairvern first opened, but uh, one, of, one of the things for my connection personally is I had two grandparents here over the years, and uh, I used to come here maybe three times a week and, and have a glass of wine at five o'clock with my grandfather, and so, you know, it's, it's just like, you know, I, I wish today that I could have a glass of wine with them. Um, but Fairvern is so important to our community, and um, and our community is so supportive of Fairvern. <laughs> a celebration of 40 years here, but excitement for what's to come. We have plans to build a 160-bed uh, uh, facility, uh, most modern, uh, that we can possibly build with the best care and also looking, uh, looking forward to caring for the residents and the staff and the municipality, the, the visitors, the families, uh, the consultants have not left a uh, stone unturned. We've uh, tried to uh, coordinate things that we can uh, please everybody and uh, it'll be certain to be state of the art and uh, it'll be what the, the residents of Muskoka deserve. Staff are excited, uh, lots of reminiscing over the last couple days, stories from the last 40 years uh, from staff who've been here. Um, one staff right from day one and um, you'll see this afternoon we're sharing um, certificates with many staff who've been here 20 plus years. Um, so excitement, but also a little bit of a nostalgia as they think to moving to um, a new building in the next few years. Uh, so just really um, proud, proud I guess is the word I would use.